I've been very grateful to have helped start two organisations. So Rohe exists to inspire hope, joy, courage and purpose in the global workforce. Helping companies build trust, looking into the people aspects of change. And the third, uh, leadership development. When I have a purpose in life, then I do think that the people around us will be also inspired to want to do the same, to find meaning. Where there's trust, we tend to fear less because I trust that you have my best intentions at heart, but you also trust that I'm looking after you. I think that eliminates a big portion of fear. When people are like-minded, uh, when we are called to do the same things together, it gives us a greater assurance, security, to then be comfortable to execute and not fear. The tribe started when we wanted to understand what are some of the pressing needs of the youth. Our work is to look into how do we help every youth become a success story. And we're not talking about success in terms of just wealth and work and qualifications, but a meaningful life that they find purpose. And so that's when we started the Singapore Boys Hostel work to help them become more comfortable and a little bit more confident. And it's been very heartwarming to see many of them uh, doing well in school, doing well at the workforce. I found out meaning in restoring uh, the lives of uh, not just the youth but family at large. We are not designed to live our lives alone. There's nothing like a face-to-face -face interaction. There's nothing like life on life. Over coffee or over a very simple meal, how do we then understand the realities of the person, what they are going through? That's why community is so important, you know, and it doesn't have to be large. And I've been very privileged to see different communities in action, you know. They share the same heart, they are like-minded, and therefore they go do something that's so good and different for our society. When I joined Rohe, my mom was diagnosed with cancer. And then it was about a, a year-long battle with cancer. And then my mom passed away after that. The support that I got from my colleagues and from Rachel was tremendous. And even though my mom has passed away some four years plus ago, they still continue to meet my dad on a regular basis to just do life together. After my wife passing away, I was lonely, all right? But I have to take it. We go to a coffee shop, sit down and talk, huh? very freely. Any friends, any friends we, we must treasure. One of the greatest uh, gifts that Rohe has given me is how they have blessed my family. And I think that's so special, that's so precious. And so there's nothing that they wouldn't do for me and there's nothing I wouldn't do for them. Now they are family to me. Rachel has a way to create uh, an environment that is safe and hopeful for people. If she understands what it is that they need, she feels a lot for it. And when she takes action, it inspires other people to take note of what she's doing. You don't fight loneliness, isolation or sadness with yourself. We fight it together. The reason why I'm stepping forward is to see my residents, is to see people flourish. How do we help communities, our residents, our families, uh, restore trust with one another, reconcile differences? We need healthy communities and that comes with healthy families. If our, our families are healthy and we're not saying that perfect, we're just saying that we will do our best to care for each other, to support one another, to speak hope, encourage one another. When our people are healthy, our community will be healthy and our nation will be healthy.